Hi, I'm Alan Loft for AxiomAudio.com with today's audio video tip. This one's about what size of speakers do you use for what size of room? It's a good question because all speakers are basically air pumps and if you want really clean loud sound in big rooms and you want to be able to play it really loud and have no distortion then you have to go to large speakers. Similarly in smaller rooms you don't need speakers that are as big. The one in my lap here is our smallest speaker at Axiom. It's an M2. Has a five and a quarter inch woofer mid-range driver and a tweeter that's identical to our largest and most expensive Axiom floor standing speakers. The M80 here and the M60. The M2 for example is a really lovely little speaker but it's really meant to fill Oh, I would say small living rooms, dens, bedrooms. And it has pleasant bass, but it doesn't have deep bass. The size of the enclosure actually dictates how much deep bass you're going to get. So the bigger the box, the more bass output there will be. But if you pair an M2 like this with a subwoofer for the deepest bass, you can have a versatile, lovely system for a small living room, a den, or a bedroom. Moving up the scale, we go to something like the M3, which uses a larger woofer, a six and a half inch woofer, and a much bigger enclosure. So it has very good bass, and um, you don't even need to use a subwoofer in many applications. But if you were putting these on in a living room, for example, on stands, by the way, they're on the floor here to show you the relative size. But bookshelf speakers you want to put on stands so the tweeters are roughly at ear height. But an M3 like this has a larger woofer, good bass output, and you can use a pair of those with no subwoofer if you wish. If you want deeper bass, you can add a subwoofer of any size you care to. Then we go up to something like the M22, which uses two of the five and a quarter inch woofer mid-range units that are on the M22. And because it uses two of them, and the same tweeter as the rest of the Axiom line, the M22 will play louder and cleaner in a somewhat bigger room. A really popular system is a pair of M22s with say an EP175 or EP400 subwoofer and you can add the other speakers later on a center channel and some of our QS8 surround speakers for a full 5.1 or 7.1 channel system. Finally, if you've got a, a big living room, I would say anything, anything over 2500 cubic feet. That's the length of the room times its width times its height. So when you're up into rooms of 2,500 cubic feet up to 6,000 or 8,000 cubic feet with vaulted ceilings, then you want to go to the M60, which is this big floor standing speaker, or the M80 over here. The M60 has dual six and a half inch woofers, a single five and a quarter inch mid-range driver, and a single tweeter, and it'll play very loud and very clean with lovely transparent musical sound in rooms up to say 3,000, 4,000 cubic feet with or without a subwoofer. Because the enclosure is big, it has excellent bass on its own, but a subwoofer will always add the lowest frequencies that go right down below human hearing. You have to go to a sub to get those. Finally, for even bigger rooms, 4,000 cubic feet and larger, Go to the M80. The M80 has dual six and a half inch woofers, dual five and a quarter inch mid-range drivers, and dual tweeters. As such, it can handle a lot of power, up to, actually we test them up to 700 watts per channel. And if you have a taste for really loud, clean music and big amplifiers, the M80s will fill a huge room with wonderful transparent musical sound at extremely loud levels. Louder than I care to listen to, but many of my colleagues like stuff really loud. And the M80 will do that. 
and you can use amplifiers of 200, 300 watts per channel or even Axiom's new A1400-8 channel amplifier which will crank out up to 1400 watts to its 8 channels. Well that's it for speaker size. I'm Alan Loft for Axiom Audio in the Axiom Listening Room at our factory. Thanks for watching.